Hello and welcome to Thought for June the 5th. Our readings are Joshua chapters 23 and 24, Isaiah chapter 29, and Hebrews chapter 12. And our thought is, Be very careful, therefore. Today we came to the end of the book of Joshua, and as Moses had done, Joshua, sensing his approaching death, says, And now I'm about to go the way of all the earth. Chapter 23, verse 14. Now note what he said then. Since it is the Lord your God who fights for you, just as he promised you, be very careful, therefore, to love the Lord your God. Verses 10 and 11. What is the point about Joshua speaking about being very careful about their love for the Lord? The point will become very clear to us in a week or two when we read John's epistles written near the end of his life. Let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. 1 John 3 verse 18. There is a modern saying, talk is cheap. And how true that is, especially when it comes to politics. But for those who are true, truly following Christ, how different their words must be. Peter made the same point in this in his first epistle. He wrote, having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. Chapter 1, verse 22. The final words of Joshua see him telling the nation, Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and faithfulness. Chapter 24, verse 14. That generation did keep Joshua's final words, just as those of Moses' generation had heeded his words. But in Isaiah's generation, that we also read today, we noted the telling words the Lord gave to the people of that time through him. They are, Because this people draw near with their mouth and honour me with their lips, while their hearts are far from me, and their fear of me is a commandment taught by men therefore, The wisdom of their wise men shall perish. Chapter 29, verses 13 and 14. The point is then made that God is the potter who made all things. But shall the potter be regarded as the clay? That the thing made should say of its maker, He did not make me. Verse 16. Human clay is saying this today in almost every situation. If there was a real prophet today... What would God cause him to say? We should have a clear idea of what it would most likely be. Let us therefore be very careful to love the Lord our God. Well, thank you very much for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. 